Now, I'm really, really excited to tell you that I've got a new update coming. And in this update, basically, I'm going to be showing you the ultimate beginner's setup. I'm just so excited to have the three pieces of equipment in front of me. So firstly, let me tell you about the drone. I've got the Yishin Wizard X220. I've also got the Turner G Evolution Remote. And I've got the Yishin VRD2. So I've got to check that name because sometimes I get it wrong. The VRD2 goggles. And this is basically my FPV racing setup. I'm really, really pleased about it. I think it's a great setup for any beginner. As you well know, I'm a beginner myself and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do things I like connecting the receiver to the drone, setting up and configuring your quadcopter in beta flight, flashing the latest firmware, um, pairing it to your Tenergy Evolution and setting fail safes as well as battery telemetry, showing you a little bit of uh, how to set it up with the goggles. I'll also be doing reviews of these uh, pieces of equipment. Um, now I don't want to do those straight away and do out of the, like unboxing as such. Um, I could put everything back in a box and show you those, but uh, I want to show you once I've used them and tested them and uh, can tell you really how good the pieces of equipment are that I want to do. A couple of really, really quick pros and cons about each bits of the equipment and why I've chosen them. I've got the Ishin Wizard now. There's loads of reviews telling people that this is the best quadcopter that Ishin have made and the best bang for buck as well that you can get. I This is really, really good value for money. There are a couple of components that could be improved, i.e. the camera on the Wizard. Uh, the motors are okay, but not brilliant. But they are running BL Heli S uh, electronic speed controllers. And it's also got a decent in the flight controller. And uh, that can all be linked up to beta flight. So that's really, really good. Turning the Evolution uh, remote. Now, I know that the, there's a new Tyrannus, the QX7. It was just about to just come out as well. Um, I still feel that this is a is cheaper uh, to start and is still a great great remote uh, in comparison and also is so much cheaper than the uh, Tyrannus. The other reason I picked this is I'm an old gamer so this fits so comfortably in my hand uh, and it's got a nice menu screen that uh, is quite easy to navigate through. Why do I buy the Yishin? The, I knew I'd get it wrong, the VRD2s. Well, because they've got the diversity module built in, which means that basically it's got a clover leaf antenna and a patch antenna. We'll talk more when I do a review of these about what that means. And also, I know that there's a little hack that you can do where you can add an audio out as well. It's got, I didn't know how well my eyes would adjust to the lenses. So I wanted some goggles with lens adjustment as well, which these have. And it's also got a digital video recorder uh, built in, uh, which is fantastic. In fact, in my last playlist, the footage is recorded from these goggles from the DVR. So you'll be able to have a look back at that straight away. So that's the equipment, a few pros and cons and why I picked them. Like I said, there, there are cheaper options available, but I believe this is the ultimate setup for any beginner. What's to come in the channel? Well, I've told you a few things. I'm also going to be waterproofing the quadcopter as well. I'll be adding audio to this, programming OSD, changing the camera to the Runcam Swift 2, which is in the post. Uh, I'm going to be soft mounting the flight controller in here as well, linking up the battery telemetry, like I've already said. Oh, and adding LEDs and a buzzer, which are also in the post. So yeah, loads coming up, and I'm sure there'll be a few other things once I've crashed it and something breaks and fixes. And everything I do, guys, is going to be filmed and shown to you so you guys can learn from my mistakes firstly, uh, so you don't have to make them. Just to show that you don't have to be an expert. Uh, I love so many of the YouTube channels of other people that make, to me, have so much knowledge, good at what they do, and seem to have all the equipment. But I'm going to show you guys that there's an excellent community out there, loads of people willing to help, whether it's forums, uh, local groups, or YouTube and um, that anyone really can get into this amazing hobby that's just so much fun. So that's basically what's coming up on my YouTube channel. I'm really, really excited about it. Can't wait to get going. In fact, later on today, I will be filming myself soldering the receiver. I know it can just plug in, uh, but I really want to solder the battery telemetry into it as well. So I'm going to be taking it apart, having a little bit look uh, deeper a look inside. And I'm also going to be figuring uh, the, and flashing the latest beta flight firmware to the Yishin Wizard as well. 
I guess I could fly it first, uh, so I've got a comparison to if, how much better it is or if it is better. So I feel like I'm not going to have enough time tomorrow to to go out, fly it, then configure it, and then and then fly again, and then do a comparison. So um, I'm going to set it up in advance, basically. I'd also really, really like to get a fail-safe set up on my remote. Guys, I think that's enough of coming up on my channel. I've got loads to do today, so I'm really stoked to make another video for you. Jumping straight into those now. So, guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it and if you want more. And I really, 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 really would like, if I can get my words out, uh, your comments below. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to focus on, any videos you'd like me to make. I really appreciate your support. I look forward to making more videos for you. Once again, please like and sub subscribe to my videos and my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.